Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing immigrant spouse visas. That's the CR1 or IR1 visa. And in this case, we're basic, I'm gonna discuss it in the context of the spouse of a US citizen, although you could be talking about this effectively for spouses of lawful permanent residents in the US. The vast majority of cases I deal with here in Bangkok involve spouses of American citizens. The, what are we talking about here with respect to visa validity? Well, unfortunately, sometimes a visa will get issued for whatever reason, circumstances, that it will only have a validity of a few weeks. And we, I, a lot of factors can go into this, and sometimes it can happen in an unforeseen way. You know, I've, I've had this kind of get dropped on folks' heads in the past where you know, all documentation seemed to be in order and perfectly valid, and the visa was only issued for a couple of weeks. Uh, I saw this some time ago, and more recently I've seen it, and it brings up the question, and, and people, especially in the present times, it's really unfortunate, you know, people are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do we use the visa, or do we, you know, or do we, what do we do? We, you know, we may only have a few days, a week or something to use this visa. What do we do? Well, depending on the circumstances, it may be possible to deal with getting a new one issued with, with an extended validity. That said, whenever you can avoid dealing, you know, trying to get something reissued, you probably want to. It's been my experience. I've dealt with trying to get visas reissued in both a K-1 and an immigrant visa context. It's not an overly fun experience, nor is it, in, in my experience, been particularly straightforward. It's, it's rather cumbersome, to say the least. The question is, though, and a lot of people, you know, in an immigrant context, it's not like the K-1, where you have to arrive on a K-1 and then remain in order to adjust to lawful permanent residence. With an immigrant visa, the stamp on arrival is an I-551 stamp. You, you arrive and you're granted your lawful permanent residence at that time. So travel shortly thereafter isn't a big deal. You're, you're a resident at that point. And in, some, in a lot of these cases I see where, look, the validity window just is what it is. A lot of folks just bite the bullet and frankly, it's not a fun experience, but they just say, okay, fine, I'll get on a plane I'll enter the United States, I'll vest, my, vest, for lack of a better term, I'll attach my lawful permanent residence, and then make my decision as to what I want to do from there. And sometimes folks will leave shortly thereafter and come back abroad briefly to get their affairs back in order before returning to the United States permanently. Again, it's all circumstantially dependent. But yeah, long story short, if you've got sort of a short validity on a visa, depending on your circumstances, you may have some options, but generally speaking, you know, you want to get your residence attached, if you will, early and often. 